Hi, my name is Jessica Labrador. Hi, my name is James Arn. We are performing Torch Song Trilogy by Harvey Fierstein, code 08003162200. I wish you wouldn't interfere like that. It's very embarrassing. Excuse me, but listening to that is very embarrassing. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I have a responsibility to his education. I am sure that the people who put him here did not have that kind of education in mind. The people who put him here had exactly that kind of education in mind. And I'll thank you not to interfere. I'm only suggesting that you should consider the huge responsibility you've taken on here. Think I'm unaware of it? Then act like it. You should be setting an example for the boy. And I'm not? Not when you talk like that, you're not. You've got to consider what you say to him for the remaining time. He's at an impressionable age. After all, it's only for a few more months. What's for only a few more months? He's here on a nine month program, right? And it's already been six months, so. What do you think happens then? He leaves. There seems to be a misinterpretation of what. Yes, David is here on an island program. But after that, if we agree and the Bureau of Child Welfare allows, I will legally adopt David. And believe me, Ma, if I have anything to say about it, he's not leaving. Frankly, Arnold, you've done a lot of crazy things, but this? Adopting David is not a crazy thing. It's a wonderful thing that I'm very proud of. Don't you understand the whole purpose of placing him here was for him to grow up with a positive attitude about his homosexuality. That's it. I'm finished. The world has gone completely mad. You make it very difficult to have an intelligent conversation. You want an intelligent conversation? You think this is easy for me? Look, my hands are shaking. I've been like this for days knowing you'd be coming and we'd have to talk about this. Because you knew I'd show you how wrong you are. I'm not wrong. No, tell me something. How old was your friend, Alan, when you met him? Seventeen. Seventeen. Seventeen and you were doing God knows what together. Now tell me how old is this son of yours? I have no intention of sleeping with him if that's what you're driving at. I had no intention of having a homosexual for a son. So look where intentions got you. Arnold, do what you want. Do you want to live like this? I don't care anymore. You're not going to make me sick like you did your father. Made my father sick? No, he was thrilled to have a fairy for a son. You took a lifetime of dreams and threw them back in his face. What lifetime of dreams? He knew I was gay for 14 years. What? You think you walk into a room, say, hi, dad, I'm queer, and that's that? You think that's what we brought you into the world for? Believe me, if I'd known, I wouldn't have bothered. God should tear out my tongue. I should talk to my child this way. Arnold, you're my son. You're a good person, a sensitive person with a heart like your father. And I try to love you for that and forget this. But you won't let me. You have to throw me in the ground and rub my face in it. You haven't spoken a sentence since you got here without the word gay in it. Because that's what I am. If that were all, you could leave it in there where it belongs in private. No, you're obsessed by it. You're not happy unless everyone is talking about it. I don't know why you don't just wear a big sign and get it over with. I don't know what to say to you. I really don't. I'm not trying to throw it in your face, but it is what I am, and it's not just a matter of who I sleep with. Ma, try to imagine the world the other way around. Imagine that every movie, book, magazine, TV show, newspaper, commercial, and billboard told you that you should be homosexual, but you knew you're not. And you know that for you, this is right. Arnold, stop already. You're talking crazy. You want to know it's crazy? That after all these years, I'm still sitting here justifying my life. That's what's crazy. You call this a life? This is a sickness. But this is what you've chosen for yourself. Ma, look, I'm gay. I don't know why. I don't think anyone does. But that's what I am for as far back as I can remember, back before I knew it was different or wrong. You have not heard a word I've said. I know you'd rather I was straight, but I'm not. Would you rather I had lied to you? My friends all think I'm crazy for telling you. They'd never dream of telling their parents. Instead, they cut their parents out of their lives, and their parents wonder, why are my children so distant? Is that what you'd rather? 
but it doesn't have to be our every conversation either. Do you want a part of my life? I'm not going to edit out the things you don't like. Scene. 